Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to be talking about iOS 17.1. This is the latest update. It came out a couple of days ago. Today is October 29th, 2023. And it's been out a couple of days now. I wanted to make sure that it was a good update before I made a video and before I started updating all of our devices to it. And I want to show you how to do it today and we'll talk about some of the updates and features and bug fixes that they've put out for this update. It's supposed to be a good one. Everybody I've been watching says it's really good. So this is my iPhone XR right here, or XR. And we're going to go over to our settings app and we're going to go to software update. All right, this update comes in at 1.04 gigabytes. And it has updates to airdrop, music, the standby mode where you put it on your nightstand on a, on a wireless charger or plug it up. And it looks like a, uh, an alarm clock. Um, the feature or this version update is available for this list of devices. All the way from the XR to the 15 Pro Max. Anything older than that, it will not take it. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to let it go ahead and update now. You're going to put in your passcode, and it's going to request the update. And I hope y'all can see this really well. This is a new top-down shot that I have. And I hope this helps somebody out. So let's request this update. And, okay, it's showing 40. 40 seconds remaining. That'll be on the request and to get it ready. Okay, that took about a minute or so. Still says zero seconds remaining. Okay, with zero seconds remaining, that seems like a bug. All right, preparing update. Okay, so that took quite a while. Now, my phone is old and everything so it says iOS 17.1 will be installed when the device is locked and the battery has enough charge um, I stopped it before it did it but uh, that took it took quite a while I'll look at the video and see how long it took we'll go ahead and hit update now and um, yeah the timer was really off on that so yeah my phone is getting really old it's funny I had the oldest phone in the family now um, which is weird because I take care of everybody else's but uh, we'll probably have to upgrade it because this is the last upgrade cycle this phone will be able to get apparently uh, iOS 17 so it'll go through a reboot and installation here so uh, I'll see it's 10 after 11 we'll see how long this one takes that took seven minutes there, so we're probably looking at 20 minutes or so all together. I'll look and see how long it actually took, but uh, we'll look here and go to general and about 17.1 iPhone XR coverage, haha, -ha. and um, I'm still at 69 gigabytes. So there should have been a modem update, which will help with connectivity. Uh, airdrop update. So now when you bring devices together, I don't have another device, but if you bring another device in here and uh, let's just say, for example, you do this with it. You can airdrop that way. If it gets too far away from each other, or off your Wi-Fi, you can actually uh, use cellular now. So you can do out of range cellular data. So you can turn that on. Make sure you have an unlimited um, plan before you do this, because you will eat your data up. So uh, Apple Music, I don't use Apple Music very much, but there are updates to the uh, album art and some of the internet search capability on it but 
I'm hoping one thing this fixes is when you go to send a text message, it would take a long time or it would fail if you were going to send a picture. So, uh, feels pretty smooth and everything. We'll see how battery life, battery life has been good even on my old phone. It's been really good, not like a, a 12 or a 14, 15, whatever, but I uh, haven't seen much difference. We'll look at that right now. We'll go down here to the battery app. Where are you? Battery, battery, battery. Battery, right there. So I'm showing the percentage. If we go to health and charging, my phone is right now at 86%. That's the maximum capacity. Now we are talking about a phone that's over five years old. So I do have optimized battery charging turned on and as you see it stays pretty high all the time but uh yeah that's the battery. battery life has been good on ios 17. so let's switch over to my computer and i will show you what fixes they have put in for enhancements and bug fixes and whatnot and uh, we'll look at it there All right, now back over at the desktop, we're going to look at support.apple.com. Link to this will be in the description. This talks about the iOS 17 updates. And if you haven't updated to 17.1 and you want to look at the previous updates, you can go here and click on these links that I'm hovering over and see what the changes are. All right, but we're going to go to 17.1, and it talks about the airdrop transfers to continue over the Internet. So if you're away from Bluetooth or away from your airdrop device, you can do it over cellular. I showed that a minute ago. Standby that uh, for the 14 Pro, only the 15 Pro Max, you can change your uh, display turnoff settings. Apple Music, you can filter to display your favorites in the library, cover art, song suggestions, whatnot. And then it includes a bunch of improvements and bug fixes. Um, photo shuffle for your lock screen. Home key support for your Matter locks. Matter is another protocol for your smart home. A lot of devices use it, and this will be really handy for that. Uh, screen time settings and a lot of security updates and uh, crash detection optimizations which would be a good one for your 14 to 15 models and uh, yeah i will include this list in the description but i hope this helps somebody out to help you decide if you want to go ahead and uh, roll the update out to your phone or your device but anyway if y'all like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified. And uh, hopefully I'm helping somebody out with this, helping myself out. And this is probably the last upgrade that I'm going to be able to get on this phone, like I said before. So, But anyway, hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. And like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.